In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create a part program inside of Bobcam. Now, the first thing that you'll want to do is come in and set up where zero is on your part. To do this is pretty simple. We just come in to insert reference geometry. In this case, we'll add a coordinate system. We'll pick where we want the zero part point on this part to be. Confirm our selection. Now we're ready to come over to our Bobcam tab and start setting up the features or the cuts. Now, if you've loaded the demo or the software to your computer and you don't have this Bobcam machining tab, you could just come to Tools, Add-ins, and then activate the plugin. Now, let's go ahead and select some stock. So, under Milling Stock, we'll select our stock geometry. In this case, we'll select the loop around this model. We can then come in and edit the stock. This allows us to choose a material type. Now the material will set up the feeds and speeds for you if you've set up your material file. Let's say that this part is aluminum and we'll say our stock thickness is two inches. We'll choose OK. Now we're ready to select our coordinate system. We'll confirm our selection. Now the nice part about working directly inside SolidWorks is when we need to do a selection we can either select from the tree, from the feature tree, or directly from the model. Let's go ahead and select our stock. There we go. So now that we've defined our stock, we're ready to come in and add some toolpath. To do this, we'll right-click our machine setup, and in this case, we get all of our drilling, all of our two-axis milling, and all the three-axis milling. Now this part's fairly simple. We just have some pocketing. Let's go to pocketing. We'll go to edit, and we'll tell the software a little bit about how we want to cut our part. So let's say we're going to ramp down into the part. We'll use a 8 degree angle and take it in two steps. So we'll zigzag down inside the part when we enter. Now the patterns, let's do an offset pocket. We'll do a 50% step over. We'll climb mill. And you just follow this list through setting up all the information about the cuts. We're not too worried about the depth. We'll pick that right up off the model. We'll go on multiple passes, 1 8 per cut. Leave 20 thousandths for finish. Bobcam will automatically append a finish tool if you leave material. We'll do a circular lead in, lead out on the finish pass. And Bobcam also always offers a chamfer tool for a deburring purpose. Let's say no chamfer on this part. Posting, we can now put our rotary angle if we're indexing. Now the feeds and speeds, you'll notice as we change tool size, they'll actually update. So it calculates the chip load. Let's say for finish, we're going to use a quarter inch tool. You can also set up a tool database where you can come in and select directly from your defined tools, as well as you can enter val values manually. The same is also true for the feed rates. There's always a manual button to override settings on the fly for changes. Let's go ahead and choose OK. Once we've set up the cut, we come in, pick our geometry. Now, one of the big ideas of working inside SolidWorks is that the software can recognize some of the features that you've set up directly off the model. So instead of coming in and picking individual faces to be machined, we'll select the whole body. This allows Bobcam to analyze the model, calculate where all the pockets are, and create an individual feature already for you for each area that needs a pocket. In this case, I have three different depths cut. So I get three different sets of pockets. We can click on each one and see where the pockets are going to be. Now we come in and we can edit each feature individually or come in and compute all of our tool paths. And at this point we're ready to actually post our code or simulate the part. It's that easy.